Peter Acroyd, CBE, FRSL is an English biographer, novelist and critic with a particular interest in the history and culture of London. For his novels about English history and culture and his biographies of, among others, William Blake, Charles Dickens, T.S. Eliot and Sir Thomas More, he won the Somerset Maugham Award and two Whitbread Awards. He is noted for the volume of work he has produced, the range of styles therein, his skill at assuming different voices and the depth of his research. He was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of Literature in 1984 and appointed a Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 2003. Early life and education, Acroyd was born in London and raised on a council estate in East Acton by his single mother in a strict Roman Catholic household. He first knew that he was gay when he was seven. He was educated at St. Benedict's, Ealing, and at Clare College, Cambridge, from which he graduated with a double first in English literature. In 1972, he was a Mellon Fellow at Yale University. Work, the result of his Yale Fellowship was Notes for a New Culture, written when Acroyd was only 22 and eventually published in 1976. The title, An Echo of T. S. Eliot's Notes Towards the Definition of Culture, was an early indication of Acroyd's penchant for exploring and re-examining the works of other London-based writers. He worked at The Spectator magazine between 1973 and 1977 and became joint managing editor in 1978, a position he held until 1982. He worked as chief book reviewer for The Times and was a frequent broadcaster on radio. Since 1984 he has been a fellow of the Royal Society of Literature. His literary career began with poetry, including such works as London Lickpenny and the Diversions of Purley. In 1982 he published The Great Fire of London, his first novel, which is a reworking of Charles Dickens' novel Little Dorrit. The novel set the stage for the long sequence of novels Acroyd has produced since, all of which deal in some way with the complex interaction of time and space and what Acroyd calls the spirit of place. However, this transition to being a novelist was unexpected. In an interview with Patrick McGrath in 1989, Acroyd said, I enjoy it, I suppose, but I never thought he a Euro unregistered trademark d be a novelist. I never wanted to be a novelist. I can't a Euro unregistered trademark t bear fiction. I hate it. Eat a Euro unregistered trademark s so untidy. When I was a young man I wanted to be a poet, then I wrote a critical book, and I'd only a Euro unregistered trademark t think I even read a novel till I was about 26 or 27. In his novels he often contrasts historical segments with segments set in the present day. Many of Acroyd's novels play in London and deal with the ever-changing, but at the same time stubbornly consistent nature of the city. Often this theme is explored through the city's artists, especially its writers, Oscar Wilde and The Last Testament of Oscar Wilde, a fake autobiography of Wilde. Nicholas Hawksmo, Sir Christopher Wren and Sir John Vaughan Brew in Hawksmo. Thomas Chatterton in George Meredith in Chatterton. John Dee in The House of Dr. D. Dan Leno, Karl Marx, George Gissing and Thomas de Quincey in Dan Leno and the Limehouse Gollum. John Milton in Milton in America. Charles Lamb in The Lambs of London. Hawksmo, winner of both the Whitbread Novel Award and the Guardian Fiction Prize, was inspired by Ian Sinclair's poem Lard Heat, which speculated on a mystical power from the positioning of the six churches Nicholas Hawksmo built. The novel gives Hawksmo a satanical motive for the sighting of his buildings, and creates a modern namesake, a policeman investigating a series of murders. Chatterton, a similarly layered novel explores plagiarism and forgery and was shortlisted for the Booker Prize. London, the biography is an extensive and thorough discussion of London through the ages. In 1994 he was interviewed about the London Psycho Geographical Association in an article for The Observer, in which he remarked, I truly believe that there are certain people to whom or through whom the territory, the place, the past speaks. Just as it seems possible to me that a street or dwelling can materially affect the character and behavior of the people who dwell in them, is it not also possible that within this city and within its culture are patterns of sensibility or patterns of response which have persisted from the 13th and 14th centuries and perhaps even beyond? In the sequence London, 
The Biography, Albion, The Origins of the English Imagination, and Thames, Sacred River, Acroyd has produced works of what he considers historical sociology. These books trace themes in London and English culture from the ancient past to the present, drawing again on his favoured notion of almost spiritual lines of connection rooted in place and stretching across time. His fascination with London literary and artistic figures is also displayed in the sequence of biographies he has produced of Ezra Pound, T. S. Eliot, Charles Dickens, William Blake, Thomas More, Geoffrey Chaucer, William Shakespeare, and J. M. W. Turner. The city itself stands astride all these works, as it does in the fiction. Acroyd was forced to think of new methods of biography writing in T. S. Eliot when he was told he couldn't quote extensively from Eliot's poetry and unpublished letters. From 2003 to 2005, Acroyd wrote a six-book non-fiction series, intended for readers as young as eight, his first work for children. The critically acclaimed series is an extensive narrative of key periods in world history. In a 2012 interview with Matthew Stadlin of the BBC, when asked the question, who do you think is the person who has made the biggest impact upon the life of this country ever? Acroyd said, I think William Blake is the most powerful and most significant philosopher nor thinker in the course of English history. In the same interview, when asked what fascinates him about London, he said he admired its power, its majesty, its darkness, its shadows. When asked what he did outside of writing, he said, I drink, that's about it. Personal life, Acroyd had a long-term relationship with Brian Coon, an American dancer he met while at Yale. After a nervous breakdown in the late 1980s, Acroyd moved to Devon with Coon. However, Coon was then diagnosed with AIDS, dying in 1994, and Acroyd moved back to London. In 1999 he suffered a heart attack and was placed in a medically induced coma for a week. In a 2004 interview Acroyd said that he had not been in a relationship since Kuhn's death and was very happy being celibate. List of works. Equals poetry equals, 1971 Ouch. 1973 London Lickpenny, 1987 The Diversions of Purley and Other Poems. Equals fiction equals, 1982 The Great Fire of London, 1983 The Last Testament of Oscar Wilde, 1985 Hawksmo. 1987 Chatterton, 1989 First Light, 1992 English Music, 1993 The House of Dr. D, 1994 Dan Leno and the Limehouse Gollum, 1996 Milton in America, 1999 The Plato Papers, 2000 The Mystery of Charles Dickens, 2003 The Clerk and Well Tales, 2004 The Lambs of London, 2006 The Fall of Troy, 2008 The Casebook of Victor Frankenstein, 2009 The Canterbury Tales A Euro A Retelling, 2010 The Death of King Arthur, The Immortal Legend A Euro A Retelling, 2013 Three Brothers. Equals Nonfiction Equals, 1976 Notes for a New Culture, An Essay on Modernism, 1978 Country Life, 1979 Dressing Up, Transvestism and Drag, The History of an Obsession, 1980 Ezra Pound and His World, 1984 T.S. Eliot, 1987 Dickens' London, An Imaginative Vision, 1989 Ezra Pound and His World, 1990 Dickens, 1991 Introduction to Dickens, 1995 Blake, 1998 The Life of Thomas More, 2000 London, The Biography, 2001 The Collection, Journalism, Reviews, Essays, Short Stories, Lectures, 2002 Dickens, Public Life and Private Passion, 2002 Albion, The Origins of the English Imagination, 2003 The Beginning, 2003 Illustrated London, 2004 Escape from Earth, 2004 Ancient Egypt, 2004 Chaucer, 2004 Shakespeare, A Biography, 2005 Ancient Greece, 2005 Ancient Rome, 2005 Turner, 2007 Thames, Sacred River, 2008 Coffee with Dickens, 2008 Newton, 2008 Poe, A Life Cut Short, 2009 Venice, Pure City, 2010 The English Ghost, 2011 London Under, 2011 The History of England, V1 Foundation, 2012 Wilkie Collins, 2012 The History of England, V2 Tudors, 2014 The History of England, 
v3 civil war 2015 alfred hitchcock equals television equals 2002 dickens 2004 london 2006 the romantics 2007 london visions 2008 peter acroyd's thames 2009 peter acroyd's venice honors and awards 1984 Fellow of the Royal Society of Literature, 1984 Heinemann Award for T.S. Eliot, 1984 Somerset Maugham Award for The Last Testament of Oscar Wilde, 1984 Whitbread Biography Award for T.S. Eliot, 1985 Guardian Fiction Prize for Hawksmo, 1985 Whitbread Novel Award for Hawksmo, 1988 Booker Prize for Fiction A Euro nomination for Chatterton, 1998 James Tayet Black Memorial Prize for the Life of Thomas More, 2001 South Bank Show Annual Award for Literature for London, The Biography, 2003 British Book Awards Illustrated Book of the Year A Euro nomination for Illustrated London, 2003 CBE, 2006 for an Honorary Member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. See also, List of Children's Non-Fiction Writers. References Sources, Stern, Keith. Acroyd, Peter. Queers in History. Ben Bella Books, Inc. Dallas, Texas. ISBN 978-1-933771-87-8. External links, Peter Acroyd at the Internet Book Database of Fiction, Peter Acroyd at British Council, Literature. Works by Peter Acroyd at Open Library, Peter Acroyd at Pearl and Torture de Euro das Culture Magazine, Peter Acroyd at the Internet Speculative Fiction Database, Peter Acroyd at Library of Congress Authorities, with 82 catalogue records.